Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today we will be giving live reactions and analysis of the first 11 picks of the NFL Draft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit clips together so it's not an hour and a half long. And so instead it's going to be maybe 15 minutes long. This is really cool. So to honor the fans coming back, they're going to pick a fan randomly from the crowd and have them call out their team's pick. So that's going to be really exciting to watch. And they've already picked the first fan th for the Jaguars. Sports fans, the draft is officially open and the Jaguars are on the clock for 10 minutes. They shouldn't need 10 minutes because they've had months and months to decide. And we all know who their pick is. It's Trevor Lawrence. But, well, definitely wait and see, but we all can expect it's going to be Trevor Lawrence. It's official, the Jaguars have officially selected Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. So now Lawrence is going to be a great fit into the Clemson offense, and they've already been writing plays under you know, offense with Lawrence at quarterback since February. So now it's on to the Jets, and I think most people also expect the Jets pick, and I think the Jets pick is going to be Zach Wilson, the quarterback from BYU. The Jets have picked Zach Wilson from BYU. So now Wilson, he only played nine games in each of his first two seasons with BYU. Then he played the complete season last year, and he was in contention for the Heisman Trophy when BYU was undefeated until they lost, um, but still he finished 8th in Heisman voting. Um, so I think this is going to be, well the Jets seem to find a quarterback and then decide they don't like him, like they did with Sam Darnold. I think Zach Wilson will be their franchise quarterback for a long time. So now the 49ers are on the clock, and the 49ers have said they're down between two quarterbacks, Trey Lance and Mac Jones. Um, I think Jones is a better fit for the 49ers, and I also think he is better than Trey Lance. This one's a shocker. The 49ers select Trey Lance over Mac Jones. So now really the only reason I see them selecting Trey Lance is because he's more athletic and he can he's the better runner of the two. Um, but I thought they were going to do they were going to take Mac Jones because he, I feel he's the better overall player, but they ended up picking Trey Lance, so, and Trey Lance comes from a school that's not very popular in North Dakota State, um, but the 49ers looked to have their franchise quarterback. Now, the... The Falcons are on the clock, and I think they're going to pick Kyle Pitts, a excellent pass catcher from Florida. This is the third time we've had quarterbacks for each of the top three picks. Um, I'm wondering if it could be top four now, because while yes, um, I think it's going to be Kyle Pitts to Florida, uh, of Florida to the Falcons, they also have the opportunity to take Mac Jones, who I did not think would be available at this point in the draft. So they could either look for uh, a great receiver tight end from Florida and Kyle Pitts, or they could look for their franchise quarterback in Mac Jones. The Falcons pick is in, and we'll have to see who it is. Instead of making history for the Falcons, they decided to go with the tight end from Florida. Kyle Pitts. Um, I didn't think the Falcons were going to go and make it four in a row for quarterbacks. I thought they were going to go with Kyle Pitts because Pitts, because they're eventually going to have to move on from Julio Jones. So maybe while Pitts is a tight end, maybe he can take on that number two receiver role now. And then once they move on from Julio Jones, then he can go in as the lead pass catcher. 
Um, and you're probably thinking, what about Calvin Ridley? I think Pitts has a lot more potential than Ridley. Um, and he's a defensive nightmare creating mismatches all over the field. Now the Bengals are on the clock, and they're they're basically down to two options. Offensive tackle Panay Sewell from Oregon, or wide receiver Jamar Chase from LSU. I think it's going to be Chase because Joe Burrow and, and um, Jamar Chase were together at LSU, and they connected for a lot. And that was one of the keys for helping LSU win the national championship. The Bengals picked Jamar Chase, the wide receiver from LSU. And now this is going to greatly help the Bengals. While some people are going to say, how is Joe Burrow going to throw the ball to Jamar Chase if he's on his back? But you can still, you could make a trade to get a pick and select an offensive lineman. You could trade for an offensive lineman by trading a pit. Or, so I think there's lots of options of what the Bengals can do, but Jamar Chase is definitely the best receiver in the draft. Um, and he's going to help Joe Burrow because now the Bengals have a clear number one receiver. Um, and while A.J. Green wasn't really the number one receiver last year, he's no longer with the Bengals. So I think... Jamar Chase is going to be the Bengals' go-to receiver. Just like he was at LSU when he was Joe Burrow's go-to receiver. So now we have the Dolphins. And I think some people are torn between Jalen Waddle and Devontae Smith. Um, I personally think Smith is a little bit better, so I think they're going to take him. But both are from Alabama. And Tua knows both of them. But I think it's going to be Smith going to the Dolphins. The Dolphins have picked Jalen Waddle over Devonta Smith. Um, while it's really close between these two receivers of who's better, um, I personally think Smith is the better receiver, but Jalen Waddle can turn anything into a touchdown because he's so explosive. Um, for example, he returned a punt for a touchdown, which is extremely rare. Um, so now, it really didn't matter which Alabama receiver, the point is Tua knows both of them, and I think getting a weapon for Tua will greatly help, and it's going to probably help the Dolphins maybe not challenge the Bills for the AFC East, but definitely make the playoffs, or be very close to, like the first team out if they can't get in the playoffs. So now we're on to pick number seven. Here's where I think offensive tackle Panay Sewell comes off the board to help the Lions protect quarterback Jared Goff. The Lions have picked offensive tackle Panay Sewell from Oregon. He is going to help the Lions offensive line protect franchise quarterback Jared Goff. Um, the Lions traded Stafford for Goff. And I think Goff is better than Stafford at this point. So you definitely want to make sure you protect him. And now the Panthers are on the clock. I think they're going to pick a quarterback, most likely Mac Jones. But they do have the option of Justin Fields. But I think Jones is a little bit better than Fields. So I think the Panthers pick will be Mac Jones. Here's another surprising pick. The Panthers pick quarterback, cornerback, defensive back, J.C. Horn from South Carolina. I had him going at number 10 to the Cowboys, but he went two picks earlier at number 8. This really surprises me because you're not giving Sam Darnold any help. And, I mean, how could you stick with Sam Darnold as your quarterback? Unless you're going to trade for something, like another pick to pick a quarterback. You, you can't have Sam Darnold as your starting quarterback in the NFL. That's a little ridiculous because Darnold is really bad. So, if I'm the Panthers, I think that's a big mistake. And now the Broncos are up, and I think they're going to have quarterback their choice, which I thought they'd be... They have the only good top five quarterback left, Justin Fields. 
now they have the option between Mac Jones and Justin Fields. And I think the Broncos like Fields a little bit better than Jones. So I think the Broncos at number 9 are going to pick Justin Fields. The Broncos pull off another surprising pick. Um, I didn't expect this pick. They picked Patrick Sertan, a cornerback from Alabama. Um, I thought they were going to take a quarterback because while yes they have Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater Drew Locke is not a starter and Teddy Bridgewater I don't really think he's a starter anymore I think he's probably one of the best backup quarterbacks you can have but I don't think Bridgewater's a starter so they're gonna go with one of those quarterbacks and now that's back to back defensive backs being selected at number eight and number nine so now now at number ten now two defensive backs are off the board and the Cowboys need help in the secondary I wonder if the, the Cowboys can pull off a trade with maybe the Patriots or the Broncos uh, not the Broncos the Patriots or the Bears so one of those teams could come select their future franchise quarterback when I first saw um, Mac Jones, I thought, wow, he looks like he could be not like as good as Tom Brady, but he could be the Patriots' next quarterback they try to turn into Tom Brady, just not as good. So, now, at number 10, I think we're going to see a trade with either the Bears or the Patriots. The Cowboys have traded the 10th pick to the Eagles. Um, I didn't see the Eagles coming. I was thinking Patriots or Bears, or maybe even Washington, for a quarterback. But instead, it's the Eagles, and they're jumping from 12 to 10, right over the Giants. And I think they're going to steal Devontae Smith right from the Giants. I think the Giants were eyeing him right there at number 12. And I think the Eagles are going to jump ahead of the Giants and grab a great receiver in Devontae Smith. I think Smith was the second best receiver in this draft, um, Jamar Chase being the first. Um, but it would actually surprise me if they don't take Smith because they need a great weapon that Jalen Hurts can throw the ball to because I think Jalen Hurts is a franchise quarterback. Our the Cowboys get the Eagles' third round pick, along with the 12th pick, and the Eagles receive the 10th pick. So this trade's not that complicated, and the pick is in for the Eagles, so we'll have to see who they pick. The Eagles traded up to select wide receiver Devontae Smith. So now, I think the Giants are going to take a defensive player, because there's no good... Um, receiver left in the draft um and I don't think a quarterback is not a possibility for the Giants but now maybe the Giants can take maybe they'll trade a pick their pick because maybe if they don't like who's available maybe they'll move down maybe they'll swap 11 and 15 with the Patriots the Patriots can come up to get their quarterback and maybe the Giants can get Micah Parsons at 15. Um, but I think the Giants are definitely going to take someone on defense because I think the Giants pick was originally Jalen Waddle, and once Waddle was taken, it was Devontae Smith. The Giants have traded the 11th pick to the Bears, and I think the Bears are going to take their franchise quarterback here and I think it's going to be Mac Jones leaving Justin Fields on the board because I, I think the Bears definitely want to avoid another quarterback like Mitch Trubisky and I think Jones is a safer pick so I think the Bears are going to take Mac Jones after trading with the Giants at number 11 the Bears trade up to number 11 to select their franchise quarterback, Justin Fields from Ohio State. 
Um, I think Jones might be a little bit better here, but Fields, he's definitely a little bit riskier. Um, but the Bears, they seem to like him better. So now the Bears have their franchise quarterback. Um, and I was only going to cover the first 11 picks tonight. If there's any big trade, then I will do a quick video. But otherwise, I will analyze not all the other picks, but some of them. I'll analyze them tomorrow, like only the big picks. And so thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you tomorrow.